Okay, so here's a quick video on how to make colloidal silver at home. So it's a very simple setup. You're not going to need a lot of things. As you can see, we need some distilled water, a glass jar, some alligator clips, some nine volt batteries, and of course, the 99.99% pure silver rods, which I bought from this website right here, goldenstatesilver.com. Uh, you can get this on Amazon as well. They send you this uh, nice thank you letter slash certificate. It's a two by four. 14 gauge uh, now we'll take a look at so 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 basically I got two of these rods and uh, uh, now we'll dive right into the setup and, and up top I have a uh, ppm meter uh, I will talk about why I have that one right there okay uh, also I have some foil here to protect everything from light. Maybe it's hard to see, but there you go. You can see the silver rod and the other silver rod over there. And one is already starting to turn dark like it should. That means uh, this contraption is work in progress. Okay. Now, the final part of the video is uh, a quick walkthrough of the steps on how to do this, right? So you basically fill up this jar. I have a 32 ounce mason jar with a plastic lid and two holes. I've just filled it up with distilled water that's exactly what you want to use. If you don't have it, please go out and get it because you want zero PPM. Which leads me to this part, which is my TDS or PPM meter or EC meter, electrical conductivity meter. But we're going to be talking in PPMs, parts per milli. So if you get one of these on Amazon, you may already have one. Uh, you can just hit the mode and select uh, to make sure the readings are in ppm and stick it in and you'll see uh, the reading shows zero when you use distilled water and that's exactly why you want to use distilled water uh, you want to start with zero ppm and then let's talk quickly talk about the batteries here so I've got four nine volt connected to each other Right, the positive to negative and the positive to negative and the positive to negative so i've just hooked up four batteries together and the alligator clips to the positive and negative terminals and now let's get to the top part of it the top part i've got two holes on this plastic uh, mason jar you do not want to use the uh, metal mason jar lid so that's another uh, point, uh, thing i want to point out you definitely want to use plastic and you drill a couple holes uh, and then stick the two rods in and connect the positive and negative terminals uh, you know off the battery using the alligator clips okay okay so about five hours later this is what the jar looks like and that is pretty much what I'm expecting I have to go uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a stir and go ahead with the filtration process but before that uh, I'm going to stick my ppm meter in there and take a quick reading of what ppm we have going because it started with zero let's see where it is after five hours in a 32 ounce jar with four nine volt batteries Okay, here we go. 
Okay, and we have the reading at 19. Okay, so we're on to the final part of the video. So I've got my 32 ounce jar wrapped up in foil and I have a coffee filter, a regular coffee filter and a funnel. That is basically all we need for the filtration process. So once you get your colloidal silver to your desired PPM, um, all you do is have something like this set up. You could, you could get an amber or a dark blue or a, or a black or basically any opaque uh, container and a plastic uh, anything other than metal basically you know uh, some uh, plastics ideal so you want to use something like that basically put the filter on and pour your colloidal silver solution in there and it gets filtered into this jar and you can seal it up and you can uh, leave this jar in uh, you know a dark place somewhere cool away from light okay so that's basically all I have for this video. Hope uh, you found this useful. If you have any questions, uh, leave that down in the comment section. Um, all right, over and out.